Regina. Lately I've been sharing with you some affordable bead options. I've shown you a couple of the most affordable bead subscription boxes and I've shown you a, a bead haul of Chinese crystal that was very affordable and now I'm going to show you some seed beads that I bought, the bead haul that I got and there's a lot of them as you can see and I'm going to share with you the site so that you can go and get some too. <clears throat> First of all, I wanted to answer a few questions about the seed beads I buy. Number one, people want to know where I buy my seed beads. Number two, people want to know why I use Toho. And um, number three, people want to know about the finishes, like the metallic finishes, if they wear off or if um, I have any issues with that. So let's go with number one. I like Toho because they are bigger than Miyuki and they have a wider hole than say Czech or even Miyuki. You can pass your thread through more often. So in my patterns, if you notice, if you watch my channel quite often, you notice that I secure my beads a lot. So I pass my thread through quite often and I use some heavier weight, test weight thread, just to make sure that my pieces are very secure and do not fall apart. So I like that. I like them because they're bigger so that I can see them and handle them better. My eyes are not the best in the world. I, my eyesight gets strained quite easily and I find with Toho it's easier for me to see and handle my beads. The finishes on Toho are great, especially the galvanized permanent finish. I use a lot of metallics. I like metallics the best and I have never had an issue with the permanent finish galvanized beads that I use ever losing their finish. I, I've never had a problem with any of them losing their finish, but metallics seem to be the ones that people ask me about the most and I've never had an issue with that and I've been using Toho's for many years and I mean I've showered in some of my pieces, forgot to take them off, whatever, and I've never had an issue with the finishes. They're beautiful finishes. There's a huge selection of them, different lined um, types, gold lined, silver lined. Um, you can get the transparent, you can get the opaque, you can get the metallic. They're all very, very pretty. So what I want, I'm going to show you my bead haul, but I wanted to tell you that I was looking around because people ask me all the time, where do you buy your, your Toho's? And I have um, basically just been buying a bag here and there or wherever that I could find some. And I found that I was getting very limited in my selection of beads to use my seed beads for my patterns for my channel. And seed beads are very important. You need to have a good stock of them. I mean, you can buy a particular amount of seed beads for a particular pattern if you'd like, particular colors, whatever. But I like to have a bunch of them on hand so if I find a pattern I want to do or if I just want to create one, I can just go into my drawers, find some beads that go nice together and make something. So you always have to have a nice stock of seed beads. You need 8-0s, 11-0s, and 15-0s. You should have some 6-0s too, but you will always need to have 8-0s, 11-0s, and 15-0s for almost every pattern. So <clears throat> having a nice stock of them is very important. What I want to buy is I want to buy bigger packages of them and buy them and have a bunch of them so that I can do more than one little tiny bottle for a project. I want to have a bunch of them ready for me so that I can just go get them. This site that I found actually does that and it's very affordable. So this site is Bita Bita <clears throat> and I'll put the link in the description box below. I'll also put it somewhere here. But this is BitaBita.com. Now I spoke with the owner of this company. I've had several emails with him and he's very accommodating, has helped me tremendously with several things. We've talked about several things together and he has helped me tremendously and his customer service is great and his site is easy to navigate and his prices are incredibly cheap and just amazing good prices. So this is Bita Bita. When you go to the site, 
I push this little bar here and you can see all the different things that you can look at. You can get the closeouts, you can um, get 250 gram packages if you want to, or you can just go and get little, the little 2.5 tubes which have about 9 grams in them. You can get those for just a couple dollars. So let's look at how much these little tubes cost if you want to get just a bunch of little tubes. So let's go here. And <clears throat> you can shop for four dollars, six dollars, up to four dollars, six dollars, eleven dollars. It's just amazing. Look at this. You can get fifteen ounce seed beads, nine grams of fifteen ounce seed beads, and these are the galvanized starlight permanent finish that I use all the time. You can get nine grams of fifteen ounce for two dollars and forty five cents. That's amazing. So you want to shop all the closeouts. You want to go through and just look through all of the different categories. Just go into each category and find them because there's 50 gram bags. There's 20 gram bags. There's little tubes. There's whatever. But go through all of them so that you can see all the different options. That's what I did. I spent a lot of time just playing on the site to see what I could find. <clears throat> now I want to show you. <clears throat> what I bought. I actually did two purchases. My first purchase was 40 something dollars. My second purchase around $60. So this is about $100 worth, not quite. And I got an incredible amount of beads for that. So let me back off or <laughs> get closer. One of the two. So um, I've got this 50 ground bag. 50 gram bag, not gram, whatever that was, of um, the galvanized permanent finish aluminum, galvanized aluminum permanent finish, the silver tone. This is a 50 gram bag. That is nice, so I can do several projects with that. I was really low on ADOs, so I bought a lot of ADOs this time because I have just a few colors here and there, and I want to grab a hold of different ones and try different colors and do different things. So when I found these great prices, I was able to buy a bunch of different colors and things and and my staples too I use mostly like I said metallics and if you've watched my channel you know that so and then here's another bag these are really cool this is another 50 gram bag and look at these these are just beautiful and a lot of these bags I don't have the links here but a lot of these bags were only like nine dollars and and they're just amazing prices I've bought 50 gram bag before for you know twenty five dollars each it's very easy to do. These were very affordable. So I got this bag of 50 gram, this bag, these are Eidos. Look how pretty the finishes are. Look at how pretty the colors are. Just really nice. And then I got these peachy color ones because I was trying to get some different colors I don't normally get. And this is another 50 gram bag. Look at how many beads you get in there. So, you know, right there, these three together are pretty. I could make something really pretty right there. So I've got these three bags here. And then I got some antique golden bronze. And um, I think that's what it is, or, or it's just a bronze. It's really pretty. And I've got the numbers on here. I've got number 88. If you like these, these are number 88. If you like these, these are number 38. This one is um, number 45. And I think I rubbed this number off. No, I can't see it. I'm not sure what it is. And then I got some Starlight, which is the galvanized golden tone permanent finish and this is number 27 if you're interested in getting what I have got. Now I also got this bronzy color in a um, 11 o and this is number 244. It does, that's 50 grams of 11 o's. Look at that. That's a nice amount of beads. I mean I could actually make stuff now. Look at that color. And then I like my nickel plate. That's one of my favorite. So I have 
actually two bags of 20 grams. This is number 43. I think I bought one in my first purchase and one in my second purchase because I bought a smaller purchase first and then a, a larger purchase second. So I got like 40 grams of the, um, I believe these are 11 O's and they are the nickel plate. And I love those, those are some of my favorite. And then I got 20 grams of the iris brown color and this is number 84 and this is a 20 gram bag so got those and then i got some ados 20 gram bag of the nickel plate ados and i'm actually going to look and see if he's got a great big huge package of these and like i said look through the whole site see you can get 50 gram bags you can get 20 gram bags and you can also get the small tubes i ordered a couple of the small tubes see this is the same color i think here that's really pretty. Maybe it isn't exactly the same. It looks pretty close. It's gold lustered African sunset is what this is. That's really pretty. I really like that color. And um, you can get these for just a couple dollars instead of paying seven or eight dollars for a little eight gram tube. And you can get those for just a couple dollars on there. And just look at the different prices. I mean, the, Believe me, I've shopped all over for Toho's, and these are the best prices in the largest quantities that I have found so far. Price per quantity, it's it, it's just amazing. He prices his stuff so well. And then, these are 15 O's, and I got a tube of them in the nickel plate to go with my 11 O's and my 8 O's in nickel plate. And then there's more of the African Sunset. I must have decided I liked that color because I got it in two different sizes. And then here is another 50 gram, or this is a 20 gram bag of more of the bronzy color. Um, it looks like antique golden bronze to me, but it's number 45. And so I doubled it. You can tell that I like certain things because I doubled them from one order to the other. But I like to have a lot of my metallics because they are neutrals and I can use them with any color of crystal, any color of pearl, whatever I want to do. I can use them with anything because they're a neutral. So I end up with a lot of metallics. But I'm going to go back and get a lot of colors too because it's very affordable. I, I, I can spend, you know... $100 on a little handful of beads or I can spend $100 and get a lot of beads. So this is a 50 gram bag and it is the gold line pink color and this is 90, number 90. This is 50 grams. Look at that. Those are really pretty. I'll get you close so you can see how pretty those are. They're just gorgeous. Kind of a powder pink color. And I love this, this peachy color. Let me get you close so you can see those too. Look how pretty they are. Toho's have such nice finishes. And then this is number 115, and it's kind of a blue. Look at how pretty this is. This is a 50 gram bag of 11 O's. And look at how nice the nickel plate and this would look together. Or even here. Just really really nice beads and like I said you need a store of um, seed beads I had I, I had put on a uh, my last necklace tutorial the Victorian beauty and one of the girls that I talked to a lot one of my beading friends messaged me and said ugh I do not have enough Eidos in any color not enough to make it and she was just all beside herself and darn it, I had to go shopping. She wasn't too disappointed about that. But if you have a bunch of seed beads, and you don't have to worry about it. You can open any pattern, and you can go and say, yeah, I have a bunch of 8-0s, or, you know, this 8-0 will go with this 11-0, and I can make that pattern. So you want to have a store of um, Toho seed beads, or whatever seed beads you use, but Toho is what I recommend. You always want to have a whole bunch of 8-0s, 11-0s, and 15-0s on hand. Now this is a turquoise, I believe. This is really pretty. Look at this. 
This number 377, obviously. It's 50 grams. I'm trying to get you really close so you can see how pretty the finish is. It's just gorgeous. And again, those would be really pretty with these. You know, so I have an 80 in that color, or I can use this, or whatever. So I get the metallics, then I get colors that go really nice too with them. And then I got some of the marbled. Well, yeah, I'm not sure what this one is, but this is number 73, and it's also very pretty. Look at how pretty that is. And so, let me show you. And <laughs> it was really nice. He sent me a splash of other little things, little gifts. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Look at this huge magnetic clasp. I have to dump out the whole thing to get that. Look at that. A ball of bling. Thank you, Catfish Man. And he'll know what I'm talking about. That is a cool ball of bling. But I am so happy to have found this site. And I'm so happy to be able to share it with you guys. Because um, everyone asks me quite often, where do you get your tow hose? And, and how much do they cost? And all kinds of questions about them and um, I never really had good answers as far as where to shop for them. There's a few places that I used that I would buy bags for but I found them to be rather limited especially in the metallics. You can't you can get some of them you can buy in bulk on some of the sites but um, in this one I can get a bunch of different colors very reasonable prices try out things that I like go back and get bigger bags if I want um, I just was really really impressed with this site and the fact that I use Toho's this is like a candy store for me so it's called BetaBeta.com go through all the categories look through everything and see what you can find you can get a bunch of these little tubes really affordably so if you want to try a bunch of different colors and then decide that you really like them and go back and get some 50 gram bags or whatever um, you can do that too but it's just amazing how affordable this site is so anyway this is my seed bead haul and this is a lot of beads, guys. This is a great buy here. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching the bead haul. And I hope you go ahead and give Beat a Beat a try. Look through, see if you can find some nice toe hose. And, well, you can find some nice toe hose. There's no doubt about that. And um, go ahead and make an order. If you have any questions, just email the company. Um, the owner of the company is very accommodating, very helpful. So um, give it a try. I think you're going to be impressed. So that's the end of my beat haul. Love you guys. Bye-bye.